Hi everybody, Lori here for Pink Fresh Studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you featuring the Falling For You stamp set along with the coordinating dies. So to begin, I am taking that die that has the three mountains. I'm die cutting that into some white cardstock. Off camera, I ran it through my die cutting machine. I found it was easiest to die cut the mountains first. That way you know exactly where to stamp them. So to stamp the first mountain, I'm using this Misty Coast ink. It's a new Pink Fresh Studio ink, very light gray. It's one of 48 delicious new colors. All these inks will be available on October 14th. And I clean off my stamp and then I put it over on the right side. I found, you know, when you do, I wasn't sure if these mountains were going to line up or if I was going to have to mask them. I didn't know how it was going to work, but I was very delighted to see that they fit all together. No masking, no overlapping. That middle one just fits snug as a bug in a rug. And I just get giddy over things like that. You know what I mean? It's the little things in life. You know, and so now I'm gonna stamp a cute little waterfall coming right out of the mountain. And for that, I'm using, what's this color? Ocean Breeze, very light aqua. And I am using my Misty to stamp because I like to use my Misty to get even stamping pressure. I find I get best results. But a lot of times when I stamp, I have to stamp things twice to get a nice, you know, even smooth coverage with inks. But I will tell you this, I've noticed with the Pink Fresh Studio inks, I rarely have to stamp twice. Just a little FYI. Now, I took a bunch of these images from the Falling For You stamp set. I'm gonna emboss them in clear. I'm gonna add some color with these images with emboss resist. So first I rub down the cardstock with the powder bag, inking up the images with Versamark ink, pouring on some clear embossing powder, and then I will heat these with heat gun. I did get a new heat gun, the one for the Euro, you know, that we're in Germany, it's got a Euro plug. It's the WOW, the dual speed. It's got a one and a two, but I mean, I always go two. Cause I mean, go hard or go home. I wanna heat that thing up and get to moving. So once I got all the images embossed, I cut them apart. So that way when I add the ink, I don't have to worry about, you know, getting it on another image. I only wanna get the green on this one. So I'm doing a bunch of like evergreen trees, is that what these are? They're trees. I think they're evergreens, but I used several of these green inks. I'm not going to remember all the names because there's 48 of them. You know, like I got five kids. I can barely re remember the names of the five. So, but I do know that this one's called Olive. Okay, because I love olives. I mean, and I love to eat olives. My daughter bought some, I told her to get some olives the other day. You know, that way you live in Germany, you got to walk to the market every time. So I'm sending her. You know, she's young. She's got the energy. I said, go get some olives. So she got it. The black olives came in a jar. Everything's different here, you know? And the black olives were, they had the pit in them. You know, and I made a pasta salad. So the pasta, I like to throw in a lot of olives, but they all had pits. So you're eating your pasta salad. You can't shovel it in like you're used to because you got to slow down when there's a pit in the olive. It's probably a good thing because sometimes I can get to going on that pasta salad. Anywho, I'm adding a bunch of these vibrant colors, very licious for that red little flag. I like to take a dry paper towel and get off any excess ink that is sitting on top of that clear embossing powder. Now what I'm doing, taking the coordinating dies, I'm gonna die cut every one of these little images out. Lately, I've been taking all my die cutting off camera. Unless it's a die cutting technique that needs to be shown, if it's just coordinating dies, I take it off camera. I feel like it keeps the video a moving. I'd like to know your opinion. Is that something you wanna see or is it like get on with the show? Okay, moving on. What I'm doing here is adding some subtle green shading to look like it's grassy area on the side of the waterfall. So I could put my little tent there in the grass. And then now for the background, this is my white card base. And you know, the mountains and the waterfall are mostly white. So I knew I wanted to have some color in the background. I had the idea of a beautiful ray of rainbows going up into the heavens. I didn't have a ray stencil, so I'm DIYing it with a piece of post-it tape. One piece of post-it tape is all that you need, or if you don't have that, you could just use printer paper works great as well. You just need a straight edge, something to make that ray, and I'm using these delicious Pink Fresh Studio inks and in rainbow colors. I am not measuring the rays to make sure they're even or anything like that, totally eyeballing it. Uh, but, uh, and also I will say, my ink blending, 
is not the best that it could be. I'm going to keep it real with you. I am a little disappointed in my execution right now because I'm watching this video back and I can see that I'm getting rushy, I'm getting huffy and getting puffy. But the problem was I got excited about this rainbow thing. I get excited and I get rushy. And, and then that's when you get the splotchy results. You got to take your time and you got to calm down, Laura. So the last color is that ocean breeze, which is the same color I stamped the waterfall in. So we're tying it all together, going full circle. And then now this little background's finished. I put this in the Misty to stamp a sentiment, which I'm using Versifying Onyx Black Ink. This sentiment is also from the Falling For You stamp set. This is a birthday sentiment, but there's several other occasions occasional sentiments in the stamp set so you can you know get mileage out of it i'm assembling the card everything's getting popped up the sun the mountains these are evergreens right i'm kind of like creating a composition here a place where i can nestle that little tent right down in there i wasn't sure what to do with the flag but i love the red flag so i stuck it right on top of the tent you do you is what i say if you want a red flag on top of your tent, you fly that flag with pride. And this card is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.